He's back. What's up? Hello, Kelvin. What's up? So Godzilla, aka Steve, um, couldn't make it in today. So I got Kelvin with me. Yeah, man. And we already did a couple service calls already. Did a boiler tune up. Just came back from Kings Point, the North Shore of Long Island. Came across and. <clears throat> there she is. She's leaking water, huh? All right now she's got no water. So, oh, oh, there. Look at that. The drain's leaking. I want to get a three-quarter uh, get, bo um, boiler, boiler drain. drain. Yep. All right, so not very easy. Take off this, this cap. Let's open this up. It's on there pretty tight. One handed Saint Mike. Make sure nothing, uh, they're not stuck. Is it a Webstone one? I don't know. I think it is. I love Webstone. All right, Kelvin, put some Teflon tape on this. Look at the wrench. Gentlemen, that's how you swap out a boiler drain. All right, now <clears throat> she got no water. So let's give her some water. This is called an automatic water feeder. It gets a signal from low water cutoff and starts filling up. This is a manual bypass valve to give it water. Gonna watch that side glass rise up. Wait for it. Slow to fill, huh? I wonder if she's clocked. I wonder. 
shoulder, she's clogged. <clears throat> I got a feeling she's clogged. Let's check that other valve, make sure that's fully open. I think, I think she's clogged. Calvin, hold the phone. I guess we're not getting a good reading right here. And a very easy way of testing this is oh, she's just filthy. Yeah. Filling her back up. I'll wait and see. I'll get some water to come out of there and I'll ream her out a little bit. Right here, just coming up. There you go. Filthy water. Should really do a, give us one some steam boiler treatment. So if these are clogged, if this is clogged and that's clogged down there, you won't have a good sense you won't have any sense of what the water level is in the boiler. And let's say this one up here is clogged and this one down here isn't, it won't go up because you need, you know, equal the balance, the, the, the water balance pressure. That's why it is an upper and lower valve. Mm. So we're going to fill this one up a little bit. We're going to drain this one down. She hasn't been serviced since last year and I doubt anyone is draining the boiler. So we'll fill this up all the way and then we'll drain it. And we'll probably throw some steam boiler treatment and through right there. So I'm just taking off this three quarter inch black cap the top of the boiler. I like treating my boilers, which with uh, Surgex helps give us nice, good steam boiler water. And you'll see the difference what it does to the water once we add that in. And just drain this bad boy down first of the water. That's from the uh, Surge X. Still in a little water condition. You stick it up to that probe right there. Ooh. She sounds a little awkward. Basically, it has water now. Sure does take a long time for this bad boy to fill up. So, in ignition. I'm gonna go about three quarters up. Right around there. Alright, pilot ignition. Okay, cool. So new boiler drain, we'll do a tune up while we're here anyway. Get the Testo 320 out, make sure she's burning good. I have to refer to the invoice, can't read it. You don't want to drill a hole here like you normally would do because of the draft diverter, which is that box right there. So you got to do it like inside the boiler. But she's looking good. That 
Surge X in the boiler, new boiler drain, and she's burning fuel safely and efficiently.